guys, how are you? Welcome to my second channel. Today I'm going to be sharing a haul and it's a very special haul because my mom's here. Hi. And she brought me some goodies from Moldova. She brought me some stuff that I asked her to bring me. She didn't bring me too much stuff because let's face it, do I need any more stuff? No, I don't. So um, yeah, I started to bring me some sweets. Not that I need that either, but um, I also liked a few things. So she brought me those things. Uh, anyway, so I just want to update you real quick on my store that has been going great You guys uh, seriously we didn't expect such an amazing turnout Especially the first two weeks we didn't expect so much hype and uh, we have been really not getting very much sleep But other than that it has been amazing and I know that a lot of things are sold out right now But they are going to be back at this by the end of the week So keep checking back and also, you know, make sure you're following me on Twitter if you want to hear updates about that So that's it. So let's get into the haul Alright, so um, if you are an American kid, you've probably never seen these, you probably haven't seen any of this stuff if you like grew up in America, but um, these, this is the best chocolate in the world, you know, not pretty humble claim, no big deal, best chocolate in the world, best chocolate you've ever had, um, Kinder, and this is like a, I think it's like a Swiss brand or a German brand for chocolate, it is holy crap, it is amazing, this chocolate is so creamy, but the chocolate, they made like a make a bunch of different stuff. They make like chocolates, they make egg chocolates, they make little eggs which are delicious. You can get these actually at a uh, world market and uh, yeah, the like candy section, this is so good. And these are like, I'll show you. And I asked my mom to like bring me a bunch of these. And these are like little chocolates and then they have like milk inside or something. And uh, so good. So I've been nomming on these. And then the next thing, which is kind of funny, Daniel asked for a special request from my mom to bring him. He asked for like a Kinder Surprise egg. And if you are American, um, you have missed out in your childhood a lot. Your childhood has automatically been 10% worse just because you didn't have this in your life. And this is like a beat up egg that melted in the bag that my mom brought from Moldova. And uh, most European kids are obsessed with these. And for some reason they are illegal in America because in America you can't have toys inside kids inside food so like this thing is like a chocolate egg you break it apart and there's a little container that has a toy and you either build it and there's like they always come up with different collections like if there's spider-man like is in the theaters they'd have like a spider-man collection and kinder surprise and if like people will go crazy and try to collect them all or like a simpsons collection or like disney like they had so many different collections i'm going to show you one right now yeah, it's pretty. I wish it was like all nice and stuff. I hope Daniel doesn't kill me because I stole this from him. Uh, he has a couple. So yeah, this is the egg and you just break it apart like that. In a perfect world, it would be, you know, perfect. And this chocolate is so good. It has like the white chocolate inside and the milk chocolate on the outside. And it's so smooth and perfect. Like no chocolate in America tastes like this. No offense Americans, but I don't like your chocolate don't like it <laughs> um okay so you open it up i have a feeling a lot of people are going to take offense in that and there's a toy right here and there's like a little blue monster thing and it has usually has instructions and you like make it aha uh -huh. so you like put it down this is the dumbest thing i've ever seen what is this Oh, so you're supposed to, so there's usually like, there's stickers, you like put them on and you play with the little toys, whatever. Anyway, I'll do this, I'll handle this later. So that's that. Man, the chocolate is so good. So yeah, and the next thing, guess what I asked for? More chocolate. This is actually our own product. Well, almost. These are made, I have like a bag. These are made in the Ukraine and their uh, brand is called Corona, which means crown. And um, I love it so much. Like, I love Corona chocolate so much. They have a bunch of different kinds. You just buy in like a bar. I remember in high school, I would eat one of these a day. It was really bad. Like, I would just buy it and just eat it with like chai, <laughs> tea. Chai is tea in Russian. So I just eat this with like tea in like a one sitting. It was so bad, but it's so good. So I have like a bunch of these. And then I asked, okay, this is going to be really weird. You're going to be like, what the heck? But if you guys don't know this, I'm in love with seafood. I love, I can't live without seafood. I always have to have my seafood with everything. Well, almost, not dessert though. So this is canned fish. 
but it's not just canned fish. Well, I'll, I'll read it in Russian. Дифтели рыбные в томатном соусе. And what that means, there are little fish meatballs and tomato sauce. Disgusting, right? It's the best thing ever. Um, yeah, they're little, that's what they are. They're like little fish balls and tomato sauce. And my mom brought me a full suitcase of this, I'm not kidding. Uh, they had to take some out in like, jer um, she flew through Turkey. So they took some out in Turkey because like her suitcase was too heavy or something. And she brought me a whole suitcase of this because I'm literally crazy about this stuff. It's so good. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be eating this all the rest of summer. And then she brought me more chocolates, chocolates, and these are uh, bird's milk. Oh, oh, sorry. In the Romanian it says, these are like actually our national chocolate bread. I'm so proud of it. Uh, it's called Bucuria, which means joy. It's like our national, there's like a factory in Moldova, like the only factory that there still exists, I think. Um, yeah, there's not very much infrastructure in Moldova. So yeah, this is like, we produce these, we're very proud of these. I think they sold it to some other country probably by now. But um, yeah, it's called Lapti de Pasere, and it's bird's milk. It's not actually made out of bird's milk, because I know people are going to ask, but it's really good. The chocolate itself is meh. But the stuff inside the chocolate is so great. I don't really like the Moldovan Bukuria chocolate. I think it's kind of bitter and weird and just like a weird chocolate. I like more stuff like this. But this particular is my favorite. Yeah! Moldovan people that are watching this are probably like freaking out because all of this stuff, it's like, it's like, you know, it's more stuff, you know. Anyway, now to the fun stuff. Oh, oh, more, more fat, fat, but stuff. So. Uh, and these are like little wafers. They're so good. I hate how good they are. They have like 10 grams per wafer or something. And they're like these little guys. They're really crunchy and like really, just really light. I love them. So my mom brought me a bunch. Like whenever I tell her to bring me something, I'm like, mom, can you bring me some chocolate? Or can you bring me some something? She like brings a suitcase or a box of it. And I'm like, holy crap, like do you want me to get fat? And then she brought me these, which I don't know if I'm going to eat too much sweet stuff. Um, and then to the fun stuff, the makeup. She brought, well, she brought me some stuff. I asked her to bring me some of these uh, Flor Mar lipsticks. I am obsessed with Flor Mar lipsticks. Flor Mar is like a, I think it's like a Belarus brand or something, or like a Bulgarian brand. I totally could be wrong. But they have it in Moldova. It's super cheap. Like, these are probably like a dollar each or two dollars each, like super, super cheap. But I think that they're extremely comparable to like MAC lipsticks as far as how creamy they are, how matte. These are like my favorite lipsticks in the entire world for, for like matte light lipsticks. And the colors are just like amazing. They're just these beautiful like light caught. Eh, I suck at swatching. Um, there's this beautiful like light, you know, coral and light pink and just like gorgeous, gorgeous lipsticks. So she brought me like a couple of shades of these because that's what I asked for. And I also asked for some good old Moldovan polishes, and these are like 10 cents each, 10 cents each, super cheap. No, I'm lying, 10 cents. These are like 50 cents each, 50 cents each, super cheap, great polishes. I asked her to bring me some, then I asked her to bring some like hair tie thingies. And this one's just like, you know, and they have like really cute ones with like rhinestones and stuff like that. I really love these, so like I put my hair in a bun. So yeah, that's all this stuff. I'm like so hyper today, super hyper. Anyway, so hoping that you like this video. I'm gonna go and watch the Olympic or Olympics or something. Have you been watching the Olympics? It's been so fun. I love the gymnastics. It's my favorite. Um, so yeah, that's it. Bye.